stage, you're probably wondering what I'm doing. Let me explain. Good morning, guys. Today will be a special video. Actually, it's aimed to the guys at Ferrari. If you haven't watched my previous video on what happened on my car, you can watch it here. So, dear Ferrari, mid-November, I was driving at 40 miles per hour on a road just by San Francisco and my passenger side airbag self-deployed for no reason. No accident, no bump, no shock, nothing. I immediately dropped off the car to Ferrari San Francisco and these guys performed diagnostic, they inspected the car, they didn't find anything. Then, apparently, they reached out directly to you guys at the factory and one and a half months later, I received an email saying that Ferrari denies responsibility, the car is not under warranty, there is nothing more Ferrari can do. They say now, if you want to fix the car, and obviously I must fix the car, they say I need to replace the door panel, the passenger airbag in the door, obviously, but also the airbag in the dash. So I will spare you the amount of money it represents and the time to fix this. But if I'm doing this video is really to inform everybody out there owning a Ferrari that your airbag can deploy for no reason and Ferrari will tell you to go fuck yourself. So that's unacceptable. So until we find an agreement or fix this issue, I will consider Ferrari dead. This uh, arrogance, the way you treat your client is unacceptable. You treat me like but come on guys, I own a 458 from 2010, we are in 2019. If you had made a little bit of research, you would have discovered that I've reached out already to your sales guy. I did some configurations and I was about to buy a new car, a new Ferrari by the way. This is crazy, you are losing a customer, I will be really vocal about what happened and most importantly, it's a safety matter. Fortunately, nobody was sitting next to me when that happened. It could have been my daughter or my son. It's really scary. Last year, you recall a lot of Ferrari, the 458 California, for a problem with the passenger airbag already. I did bring you the car and you replaced the airbag. So, to me, you definitely have a problem with this airbag or your supplier, but this is not the customer, me, to deal with. So Ferrari, if you watch this video, your first reaction will probably be to reach out to your lawyers and to ask me to delete this video and to shut the f But I won't do that. You have my phone number, my address. Just reach out, just find an agreement. Let's fix this and everybody will be happy. But for now, um, I gave myself one week to explore all the solutions I have. I spoke with several lawyers, with my insurance company. I have a lot of divergent opinions and feedback because apparently Ferrari, you guys, you are really easy on triggering lawsuit, etc. But in this case, clearly, there is something really wrong. Again, it's a safety matter. So on this one, I'm not sure you will win. And the money I was about to spend on your car, I can spend it on my lawyers too. So please do the right thing and let's fix this. So now back to my subscribers. I'm really sorry that you are caught in the middle of this story, but Honestly, social networks now are a fantastic opportunity to be really transparent about everything. And, you know, we hear a lot of uh, bad things about Ferrari. Um, I guess this is one more. At this stage, I'm not encouraging anybody to spit on Ferrari or say they are bad, but I'm just telling you the fact and then you make your own opinion. So obviously I will do a follow-up video and I will let you know guys what happened and uh, hopefully it will be a good thing. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit this uh, bell icons to be notified when I'm pushing new videos 
and see you in the next one.